Okay, so y'all know that I'm on a mission this summer to organize my pictures, to print my digital pictures, to get everything buttoned up in the digital picture realm, and I've actually made really good progress. So before my trip, I was able to basically back everything up that is from 2013, 2014 or so onto both Amazon Photos, Google Photos, and Dropbox. So now I have them all like triple backed up. And I started working on printing my pictures. And before I left, I got a bunch of big boxes of pictures from Shutterfly. Uh, not sponsored, but that's where I ordered it from. And some photo albums that I made. And next on my list is to actually get everything off of the CDs, which a lot of them look like this. I did them at Walmart because I worked at Walmart in college. Um, but a lot of the pictures get them off CDs and onto the cloud to store them. And then I bought this external SSD to back up as much as I can on this. This one's two terabytes. I think I can back up most everything, but that is kind of going to be the last step of the puzzle where I actually consider this project like mostly done. But I wanted to kind of walk you through how I'm printing pictures and and what I'm doing and like how I'm organizing everything because I feel like sometimes that is the most confusing or overwhelming part. Everything, every picture I've ever taken from like senior year of high school through 20, 2011, 2012, somewhere in that range, was printed and then put in an album like this that just has, you know, like the photo spots with the spots to like right next to it. So basically I have a ton of these albums. That is not my family. That is the store family because this was in a box and I never used it. But that's basically what happened up until that point. 2012, 2013, 2014, somewhere in that range, I discovered digital scrapbooking and like project lifestyle scrapbooking. So I have a ton of like really large albums from those years where I like actually scrapbooked, but your girl doesn't enjoy scrapbooking. I don't know why I thought I did. I don't. And I also don't have time, nor do I want to make the time. So the last scrapbook that I made was in 2014 for our trip to Hawaii. And so that is kind of where everything, every printed photo is stored from my senior year of high school, like 2003, 2004, to 2014. So my mission is from 2014 to now to print everything. So I started this process and I made this photo book and I used blurb to make this. I actually have found that it is like the cheapest option. It's a little less intuitive than things like Shutterfly or Snapfish to actually make the album, but I feel like it's cheaper and better quality. So why would I not go with it? So I downloaded, because I'm a designer, I downloaded their like InDesign template and actually made this entire album in InDesign and then just uploaded it to be um, printed. And so I just made a bunch of like different templates of photo sizes and things for pages and did this did this album. So this one is 2015. But what happened was, by the time I got to the end of this album, I was like, you know what, that was entirely too much work. And the thought of doing an album like this for 2015, which I just did 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, and then clearly for 2022, uh, overwhelmed the snot out of me. So what I did instead was I just printed all of my pictures. And honestly, I'm a little frustrated because Shutterfly did not, they're not like grouped together well. Um, like there's definitely some from like 2015 in this envelope and then in the same, like in the envelope next to it, some from like 2020. So here we are. But I just like printed my pictures. Like here's a picture of me and Oh, you can't see that. Here's a picture of me and Jacqueline when we went and spoke at ConvertKit's conference in 2017 or 2018. Um, and, you know, I just printed all my pictures. But honestly, this is from like 2017 or 2018. And then this picture here of me and my husband, this picture here, is absolutely from 2020. These are in the same pack. And 
and I printed them and put them in albums in Shutterfly to print them. Like there's a 2015, a 2016, a 2017, a 2018 album and then printed them from each one. So I'm not sure how that happened. Um, and that really sucks because I'm going to have to go through these. But my plan now is to basically separate all of these into years, which I can do pretty easily because one, I know when things happened, but two, um, I have them in albums like in multiple digital places now and so I can just kind of look when did this happen blah 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 but separate them into years and then put them all in some kind of album like this just to say they're printed they're out in the world somewhere and we're done there's a very solid chance that instead of putting them in an album I get those photo boxes and I just do like 2016 2017 2018 each in a box and then start albums from this year but then my plan going forward is from this year on 2022 on I want to make a photo book every year now that I'll be caught up and yes that means I have some in photo albums some in boxes some in this but I'm okay with that doesn't even bother me at all so I want to make an album like this for every year starting this year because it doesn't feel as overwhelming if I do it year by year and I need to make albums for each like large trip we've been on or a large event or something like that. So my plan is these are printed. They're going to go in a box or an album. We are done. We are caught up. We are good. But I did not print any pictures that were from like our trip to Disney World or I didn't print a lot of the pictures from my travels and like my speaking engagements because I want to just make an album for that. I am going to make an album for our trip out west that we just did. So basically plan up until now is just to get these somewhere that they can live and we can get access to them pretty easily. Going forward is to make an album every year like this, a photo book every year like this, and then for every like major event or trip or whatever an album or a photo book like this. And then I need to actually go through all of my CDs like I showed y'all and put them all in a digital cloud. Now, most everything that's on CDs is pre myself having children. So it's like pre my kids, pre my family. So what did I take pictures of you as? My niece and nephew, literally all the time. Now like this one that I'm looking at is a is the photos from my mom's 40th birthday. My mom is very young and her 40th birthday was when I was 22. So I have lots of pictures from her 40th birthday. But a lot of what I took pictures of were my niece and nephew and like family things that I care about, but I don't need to have backed up in 72 places because my sister-in-law already has copies of them because I've sent them to her or made her CDs. And I really don't need to like use up all my cloud storage for these pictures that, not that I don't care about, I love my niece and nephew, but like that I can get back to because there are backups anyway. So basically the plan now is to do something with all of these printed ones to go through all these, then make the photo albums for our Disney trip, and whatever else I need to make them for. And then to get all of the CDs off into the cloud, my plan is to put them in Dropbox and Amazon Photos because I have unlimited storage in those two places, or not unlimited, but I have a lot. And then not put them in Google Photos probably, unless they're pictures of my children, like unless I'm missing some years there, or things like my wedding or whatever. And then once it's all in folders, in these cloud storage places, I'm going to back it all up to this and put it in my cabinet because these may not last forever. They probably won't, but by the time they're obsolete, hopefully there'll be something new that I can transfer them off of and put them on. But my hope here is that like, I'm never in a situation where I don't have access to my pictures and it's already been really great because like if I wanted to have a picture, if I wanted to find a picture of like my oldest son when he was a baby, I needed to go through either CDs or through like the albums that I had printed. But because I have started putting the CDs on the cloud and I have like backed up things and on Google Photos have put things into albums based on the year, I can now be like, oh, 2010. Ba, ba, ba. 2011 ba, ba, ba. and it's been so easy now one thing I did want to talk about while I'm talking about my little update here because I want to share resources with you guys because after I shared that video a lot of you were like oh my gosh I need to do that too and so I wanted to like 
share what I'm doing. So like if you want to make a photo album, I'll link blur below. I'll link Shutterfly. I don't even think I have an affiliate account with either one, but it doesn't matter. But I am going to have to scan in several pictures, but it's not that many. So because I was pretty diligent in my younger years when I worked at Walmart or after I was done working in the photo lab, I have most pictures on a CD in some capacity, even if I scan them in, like from years past. But there are things like this. This is a picture of my son when he was two. Oh my gosh, how cute. Or like the kids' sports pictures or whatever, where I'm when I order the pictures, I don't order a digital copy, even though that is my normal. Sometimes it's not an option. Like these sports pictures, it's not like that was an option to get a CD. And the photographer I used for these, as well as like my wedding pictures, and then I have some pictures that she did of my kids when they were like four and seven of like a superhero photo shoot. She didn't offer CDs because she didn't, like that wasn't part of her business practice. So there are pictures pictures that I need to like scan in to make them digital to make sure they live forever. And someone mentioned in my last video to get a photo scanner and I forget what it was called. I could look it up, but it was like specifically made for that. And if I had hundreds of pictures, I would absolutely buy it. It's like $400. So it's kind of expensive. But if I had hundreds of pictures, I would get it because I know it would save me time. But I I really don't. I really have like sports pictures, some like years of school pictures. Most years I bought the CD, so I have that anyway. And then like I say, like random like photo shoots we had done that I don't have digital copies of. So I'm just going to scan those in on my like printer scanner that does a really good job. So yeah, it doesn't have to be complicated, but that's where I am. I have printed we are starting the process of putting CDs and pictures that are on CDs on the clouds. And then from there, we're going to put them on the external hard drive. And I know I told y'all one of the things I wanted to do was to make a folder for each one of my kids. So I really need to figure out the best way to do that sometime in the near future. But for the most part, I feel like I feel pretty good. I feel pretty good that I got everything printed. I got this photo book made. I'm going to, it's my goal this month, because summer really doesn't last that long, you know? So it's my goal this month to like finish doing all the CDs to the cloud and then to print our pictures from our Out West trip we just went on and to get started on my 2022 album. So hopefully by the time my kids go to school in mid-August, I'm pretty well done with the, with the project and I feel very accomplished because yeah, like that's a big project. All right. That was just a rambling, like, let's catch up video, what I did. Anything I talked about, I'll link below in the description. Um, and yeah, stick around. I have a bunch of fun videos coming this month, coming next month that I think you're going to love. And I will probably do one more update on this project when it's actually done, hopefully in like August. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll call it a day. All right. Bye, y'all.